Good morning children and welcome to First Step Sunday School. We're going to start with our usual song, our hello song, so join in at home. Hello children, hello children, hello children, it's good to see you here. Hello children, hello children, hello children, it's good to see you here. So I hope you've had a good week at school um, after the Easter holidays. Now we are going to be talking a little bit more about what happened after Jesus died and then came back to life and then went to heaven to be with his father. And Jesus made a promise to his friends on earth. <coughs> he said that he would send someone to help them. And this week we're going to find out who that someone is. So we're going to start with the song. We're going to sing, God is good to me. He holds my hand. He helps me stand. God is good to me. I'm going to sing it twice, okay? Here goes. God is good to me. God is good to me. He holds my hand. He helps me stand. God is good to me. God is good to me. God is good to me. He holds my hand. He helps me stand. God is good to me. Now we're going to have our story and I'm going to use the storybook that I've been using uh, um, called Jesus Storybook Bible. And this week it's all about how God sends help to Jesus's friends. So listen up, here goes. Jesus's friends and helpers huddled together in a stuffy upstairs room. Even though it was sunny outside, the shutters were closed and the door was locked. Wait in Jerusalem, Jesus had told them. I'm going to send you a special present. God's power is going to come into you. God's Holy Spirit is com coming. And so there they were, waiting. Actually, mostly what they were doing was just being scared and hiding. You can't blame them. Their best friend had left and important people and leaders were after them. And Jesus had, give them a, had given them a job to do and they didn't know how to do it. As they waited, they were praying and remembering how from the beginning God had been working out his secret rescue plan. And can you see that Jesus's friends there? They're not looking very happy. They've got the doors shut. It looks like the lights are out almost as well. They don't look very brave. They look a bit frightened. Suddenly, a strong wind filled the room, whistling through the walls and rustling the straw on the floor. And there on everyone's head, shining in the gloom, were flickering flames, flames that didn't hurt or burn. And something more, inside their hearts, they felt a strange heat, almost as if all the coldness and the hardness was melting away, as if their broken hearts were mending and God was giving them brand new hearts, hearts that would work properly. How it happened, they didn't know, but they knew God's power had struck their hearts ablaze and Jesus himself was coming to live inside them. They'd seen Jesus go away, but now he was closer than he'd ever been. He was inside their hearts. And this time, nothing could separate them. Jesus would always be there with them, loving them, whispering the promise that would get rid of the poison and the terrible lie and sickness in their hearts. God's wonderful promise to them, you are my child and I love you. Make your home in me as I make my home in you, Jesus had said. Could it be heaven was coming into their hearts? Oh, look at that. Can you see the flames, the fire on their heads? But it didn't burn and it didn't hurt because it was God's special 
flame, special fire. They threw open the shutters and sunlight, sunlight flooded their room as love had flooded their hearts. And the little room was filled with happy noises, dancing feet, singing and laughing. They unlocked the door and they ran into the streets as if they'd never been afraid. Peter spoke in a loud voice so everyone could hear. Jesus died for you, he said, because he loves you. But God made him alive again. He rescued you. People stopped and listened. The words sank down deep into their hearts and worked like a medicine that makes you well. Like the antidote to a deadly poison. Like a kiss that wakes you up from a deep sleep. Stop running away from God, Peter said. Run to him instead so he can love you and make you free. And Peter told them the wonderful story of God's love. God's never stopping, never giving up, never unbreaking, always and forever love. And how Jesus had come and all that had happened to him. Look at that. The shutters are open, the doors open. Look, that's Peter running down the stairs, telling everybody about Jesus. He's got brave. There were lots of people from far away countries in the big city of Jerusalem, and they couldn't speak the same language. But as they listened to Peter, everyone could understand what he was saying in their own language. Many, many people believed and became Jesus' new friends and helpers. And the wonderful news of Jesus spread like sparks from a fire to villages, to towns, to cities. And every day, more and more people believed in Jesus. And so it was that the family of God's children, his special people, grew. And one man was watching. I'll stop this, Saul said. But this was God's plan and nothing in all the world would ever be able to stop it. And look there again, all the people listening to Peter, telling them, how Jesus had died for them because he loved them, how he'd come back to the life, how he'd gone to heaven to be with his father and how he'd sent the Holy Spirit to live in their hearts. Jesus himself had come to live in their hearts so that they would never, ever be without him. And we might find out what happens with Saul next week. The Saul was the man who wanted to stop the Christians stop Peter and his friends talking about Jesus. We'll find out what happens to him next time. So we're going to finish with our song again. The God is good to me. He holds my hand. He helps me stand. God is good to me. And do you know how he holds our hand and helps us stand? Because if we believe in Jesus, Jesus comes to live inside us. And he's the one that helps us stand and holds our hand in the difficult times. Let's sing this song together before we pray. Here we go. God is good to me, God is good to me. He holds my hand, he helps me stand. God is good to me, God is good to me, God is good to me. He holds my hand, he helps me stand. God is good to me. Okay, children, we're going to finish with a prayer. So hands together and eyes closed. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you rescued us, that you saved us. And if we believe in you and if we love you, then you come to live in our hearts, just like you did in the hearts of your friends way back at the birthday of the church. We thank you that we can stand that we can have you hold our hand, that you can be our friend and our helper because you are with us always and that you will never leave us alone or, or, or abandon us, but you will always be with us. We pray for our friends and our families this week that you would keep us safe and give us a good week at school. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So children, I will see you next time when we're here a little bit about Saul. Okay, God bless, have a good week and I'll see you next time.
Bye.